to do, we're going to play my favourites, of course. We're going to we're going to we're going to be playing some new Civil War first. Hello, Kohai. How are you tonight? Glad you could join us. Glad you could join. So let's see. Let's see. So the first game, of course, like I said, English Civil War. And hopefully we're not going to have any technical difficulties tonight. Uh, and here we are, English Civil War with the first one. We'll see if we how many matches we can get in tonight. Um, but yeah. Fantastic. I think I've just clicked go <laughs> when I was meant to change something. But we'll see. And nope, here we are, English Civil War. And of course, I am playing the Royalists. We may change up oh, Mountain. We'll play Potluck on the thing, but we're always going to gonna choose a, a different um, scenario type this time. Um, oh, we could. Yeah, alright. We'll, 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 we'll choose Scots then. We'll choose Scots. Where are we? Royalist, Royalist, Cornish Royalist, Royalist Raiders, Scottish Royalists. You got it, Pixel. You, 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 you called it. Versus, oh. Oh, new model army. That would be quite interesting. I think we'll just go Parliament Entry 1643. Uh, we'll do that. And we'll do enemy reinforcement, English Civil War. So we're going to play. Going to have some bows. Fantastic. I love them Highlander troops. They are fantastic. All right, so here we are. This is tonight's battle. Let's hopefully we're going to get a few in tonight. And we're going to wreck some... Uh, Parliamentary forces. Ho ho ho. So what we've got at the top? Pike and shot. Newly raised. Uh, pike shot. Dragoons. Light guns. Veteran. Oh, we've got no. Oh, we've got Scots horse. Lancers. Ho. Oh, they look nice, but the quality is a bit. It's not great there. Um, Scots Highlanders and Scott horse. So we do have some Scots Highlanders with bows. <laughs> Many carry bows. That's what we like. And here we go down to more Scott Highlanders with which carry muskets. So, hmm. oh, I can fold more. I can. Oh, I'm actually got. But I can choose units this time. God, isn't it? It's that. That's just a, a luxury. I always go pot luck. So, let's have a look. So many points we got. Six, 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 six. Oh, what we got? Dragoons. Poorly trained. So pike and shot, of course. We can go all out there. We need some backbone of the army here. Um, but but we're gonna have some light guns, of course. And we would like some Scott Highlanders. Uh, that's not bad. Let's have some of that. Scots horse on uh, mild horses. Um, Scots Highlanders. Where Scots Landers? Yes, good, good. And veteran pike and shot. Yes, sirree. Fifty-seven points left. Oh, we could go dragoons. And thirty points for last some newly poor raised pike and shot. Oh wow! So it's so it's it's liberty actually having uh, being able to choose stuff. Here we are, my laddos, on the battlefield. Okay, so look at the field ahead. Oh, we've got we've got a big hill on the right. We've got a big hill on the right, open ground on the left, which seem would be taken up by a cavalry, I'm guessing. And yeah, nice choice. Muskets and bows. So hill to the right, open to the left. I wanna get that cannon on that hill, I think. Definitely, where is my cannon? Um uh, I'm not gonna try and do a Scottish accent because it will be really bad. Uh, we've got Musket of Scots Highland, I'm going to put them on the flank, and we're going to get our main army of uh, Pike and Shot all through the centre. I am in the woods here, so I think I might be slightly disordered. Uh, Scots Highlanders will be bulking out the right side again. Uh, cavalry, we're going to stick some on the left side, we're in the open. And I think the rest will funnel down the centre uh, and hide around. So Pike and Shot, Pike and Shot, we've just got a lot of Pike and Shot, that's not a bad thing for me. We're not fielding a great amount of cavalry here, so we're going to have to play a little bit more defensively. Yes, I'm I'm, I'm a bit worried about their cavalry on this. Um, but we do have the Dragoons, which aren't going to do very much. Uh, we've got the Scots Lancers on the left. Uh, we've do got two Musket guys on the right, on the left here as well. We'll just see how the battlefield thinks. So my main objective is probably to carry uh, capture this hill, use it to hopefully gun down a lot of their line, cause some disruption, and then push on, push on to London. Let's see if I can uh, uh, bring it out again like last time. Oh, I can only see partial of their army here, actually. Uh, oh, what can I see so far? Oh, the cavalry is is gone. <laughs> There's so much cavalry. Uh, so much cavalry, guys. I'm a little bit scared now. A little bit scared. I brought my red fluffy hat for no reason. We have some dragoons who aggressively ran up. Uh, they're mounting two light and medium guns in the centre. I can't see their right, their, their left flank, my right flank. Uh, but we'll certainly see. We'll push on to the hill and see what we can see. 
We need to get everybody all the way up, and then we can literally, hopefully, just have some superiority on this right side, because I feel we're going to be fighting on this... Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I think I, I, brought a, I brought a pen to a knife fight here. There's a lot of cavalry here. Veteran. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Pike and shot. Pike and shot. Oh, you know what? We can take them on. We can send these... These... Commoners back to the fields. I've got the pike. All I gotta be careful about is the flanks. Is the flanks. And there's, of course, there is no. There's gonna be no bringing back if I make a bad move. I think I am gonna. I hope I'm. Alright, we're going to stick the lances there. I'm not going any further. I'm not going any further. We're going to use that wood as a little bit of a buffer, if we can. Uh, yes, that is true. The Cavalier Horde would be slightly, slightly scarier. But <laughs> regardless of that, I feel very... Uh, I'm going to be outmaneuvered here. Outmaneuvered. Yes, that's what I'm definitely trying to do. Is I'm hopefully going to pick the place. And... Dragoons instantly start taking fire. Medium guns start opening up against the Scott horse on the left. Is that oh, is that all they're going to do? We might get some early kills here with these um, these shots. Okay, you're going to get some shots in there. Thank you very much. And we're going to turn here. Remember, guys, you're full arc. <laughs> the bows. But I'm dis moderately disordered being in here, so I don't want to be in here too long, especially when they start coming at me. Um, they're going to run away. So let's try and get this hill. Let's try and get this light gun to the end of the hill. What's the range of it? Oh, we're just out of range here as well, guys. Just out of range of anything. Anything we can do there. So we're going to... Pike and Shot are all going to move up. Be careful of this rough ground. We want to be careful not to get too disordered. Does that, is that going to disorder me? And yes, it will give, make me slightly disordered being in that wood. Uh, so we don't really want it. Let's push these dragoons to the left, right side. Uh, and make sure we can bring all our pike up to a bear. Because it is going to be a slog fest with that cavalry. I'm sure it is. I'm moving to the right again. And everybody else is just going to form up. Concerned about all this rough ground here. I really am. Oh, this guy's going to get shot again, isn't he? Oh, I want to run him away. I want to run to the left. Uh, so that's it. We're going to take this hill. And then we're going to see what the computer player decides to do. He could sit there shooting me up. Uh, remember, he does have reinforcements. Because um, this is the map type. And the cannon again, ineffective, but my cannon is just out of range. And that seems to it. I think I'm gonna have to push the uh, push the envelope here a little bit, trying to get make them make a move. And the cannon's still out of range. Should I turn it to the left? I will fire next turn. Well, we'll just shoot again until we can actually start causing some disruption. We might have to... Uh, I think we're going to have to advance a bit more to annoy them, uh, to actually bring them to beer, but we're going to get the, both cannons at us. I think I'm quite happy with that with their cavalry. I think they, they will struggle against the amount of pike and shot I have. But I think if they get into combat with these, um, these Scott Highlands, I think the Scott Highlands won't come out on top. Let's push on, though. Let's push on. We need to leave some force to the left. We can't bring everybody to the right. We've got raw pike and shot. They will just hang around here. I'll bring these here. And that will be it. I think these guys are going to stay in this wood for now. But anyone gets closer, I need to bring them out. Because they are disordered in there. They do not like being disordered. I should really bring that cavalry to the left. Just to scare them dragoons away. And the enemy have... Initiate the battle. It is 10 o'clock, guys. Hello, Grey Knight. How are you this wonderful evening? And welcome to the stream. The light cannon has moved up in the centre. Ready, ready to shoot me off that hill. But well, I'm going to hang on to that hill. And here comes the cavalry. Remember, guys, if you give cavalry the terrain, they shall take it. They will take that space. Eat the bows. Them bows are fantastic. 
Even if this cavalry on the left drags some of their units out, it'll be good. And the cannon away again. But we're hopefully going to pour lots of musket fire into these uh, parliamentary forces as soon as they appear on this hill. Let's make sure we're turning uh, to f uh, full effect here. Why did I just do that? I've just turned to my... Well, that's half. We'll turn again. Is that full? Yes. Are they in range? No. Slightly out of range, but we're going to turn because uh, we want to get the full effect of a fire there. And these guys are just going to turn this side. Cannon, I think I've got a choice now, but it's half effect here. Van Bishop, hello, how are you this wonderful evening? And we are going to, oh, we're half arc fire here, even at the cavalry here. So I, w I would like to shoot the cannon this turn. 0 to 11, 0 to 12. I would like to just hurt these red boots a little bit, because we have started to fire at them already. I'm just going to open up again. Ah ha ha! Disrupted through the fire of the bow, the bow, and these guys cannot shoot. But we're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna annoy them a little bit now. I'm gonna drag this this cavalry out, uh, and I can't move. I can just turn. We'll drag that cavalry out. You can sit there. Uh, we'll turn this pike and shot to the left uh, to give more field of fire. Um, but ba I think I would like to drag one of the more of these pike and shot units up to this hill. Uh, just to combat any of these, just when these dragoons get into trouble, they don't have massive range. Mostly out of range here, raw pike. Oh, we're half arc, but you know what? We're going to fire anyway. And we're going to turn here, put out of range. But next turn, we'll we'll open up with the, probably the good volleys when they start pouring forward. Cannon away again. Mm, eight damage wasn't massive. That one unit of pike and shot in the centre is going to get absolutely shot up. They're only raw as well, so they should be a big issue for them there. Uh, Pike and shot. But we've got veteran cavalry in the rear. Which will come into effect at some point. Other uh, light guns moving up again. Hello, Lannister. How are you this wonderful evening? And cavalry on the left. The veteran horse is coming to uh, upset me. <laughs> oh, it is. I feel I'm going to have to back out of this wood. Unless I can give them a good volleys. Cannon away. Open in the shooting at the pike shot. Open. Oh, 22. They're going to start getting pounded by the cannons on that uh, plane there. So hopefully we can start shooting some of these units up. I feel we're at a massive. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, that's not a charge, is it? Well, we're going to just... Uh, is that out their line of sight? I don't know. They're going to stay there for a turn. They don't decide what to do with them. Um, very poor here. Out of range. Cannon will shoot at the pike and shot. Of course, immediately 15 deaths. And here again. 15. Some nice, nice stats there. I'm expecting this pike unit to die horribly. I'm surprised that wasn't a disrupt there. And there's a half arc fire there, but we'll, we'll have to accept that. Uh, hopefully not pike um, pixel. We'll see what the computer player does, because so he always surprises me. Uh, I find with the computer player, you can kite their units away, and this is definitely one of them here. You can. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they think about doing. So hopefully this one of these units will I'm surprised the war pike haven't been disrupted yet. I think we're going to target that unit again. Let's keep pulling this unit to the right because we're going to need some defence and we're going to turn these all to that side. See, these are the one veteran unit in the centre, or the veteran units in the front. Um, and we're going to open up on the uh, pike and shot there. The cavalry, these guys can't shoot at anybody because they're all out of range. Uh, and that's turn. That is all turn. Let's see what mayhem happens in there. The cannon ill-effective, thankfully. Uh, what damage has he got left in there? He's nearly half a year. Oh. I would not like to be on that front line. And they did charge. I should have moved him. 
Should have moved him. <laughs> Surprised they didn't get disrupted by that. I thought I, was, uh, I think I was. That was in their charge range, so I should have moved. We might open fire on these dragoons to hopefully break them and give us a little bit of percentage advantage. Auto breaking the uh, raw pike, disrupting the pike shot behind. That is what we like to see. Oh, I'm su surprised they're hanging around. Well, they're just distracting that one unit for now, and we're going to put the unit in the centre. I think they are going to. They are going to. They are going to charge me. Um, well, we're going to have to do half arc and f full arc at the. And full arc. Thank you very much. Firing away, and the guys who are disrupted are going to get shot a few times, I think. And yes, brilliant. Fire that wall of lead, sir, in that general direction. Firing again. The bows of destruction have been unleashed. Five to twenty. And we're going to start uh, doing some sharpshooter shots on there. Thank you very much. That seems a bit... I seem quite confident there. Quite confident. And I think we're going to end the turn just there. Unfortunately, the cavalry have been caught. Um, not much can do about that. Not much at all. 4%. Anyone's game here. Anyone's game. Dissolving Parliament. We'll do it again. And the raw pack and shot have fled and gone. Oh, the, the Scots have stay in there. They've raided the borders. Lost it using one level of cohesion in the front rank. Uh, they are going to charge me at some point, they are. Oh, that, the veteran pack and shot are taking some damage there. But they are taking the front uh, off the fire. But they are doing very well in soaking it up. I mean, they are nearly half, over half a unit down. <laughs> they all so scared! Scared! Scared of the woods! Scared of them Scots in the woods! <laughs> uh, I would attempt a Scottish accent, but uh, it would be terrible. Get out of my woods! The wind charms! They can hear them! Two disrupted cavalry units! That's, I know it's what one code is one of the uh, problems. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised. I, I don't like falling back. Oh, the Scots cavalry is just about to get slaughtered, but their sacrifice has not been in vain for the greater good of the army. All right, then, we're going to just shoot some uh, bows and muskets at you now. Uh, you will have... Uh, I will move these. Look, turn this this side so we get a full arc of fire now. Uh, do I will turn to the left here, and then we're going to open up at the dragoons. For measly one to six damage, please take your unit off the board, sir. And the canard will hit the pike and shot here again. And the raw pike and shot. Okay, who shall I open up? I think the fragmented troops. If I can break these, it may cause some uh, leadership checks for the units here and may cascade. So it might dedicate a lot of fire to that one unit. I'm trying to break them. And a break. Any more cohesion tests? No, they all, they don't care. They don't care that the uh, bike and shot unit ran off. But that's not fight. Well, that's pretty good with me. And then we're going to aim at the disrupted unit here. And these guys, well, we might as well shoot these guys with the bows. The bows of destruction. And the Polantemi horse are charging forwards. We need to get this bike and shot unit up here to hopefully help me in this. Ooh. I would like, I think I'm going to have to move for look. One to five. Was it even worth it? We'll turn here just in case they do get destroyed. No, we'll keep them looking that way. So, actually, a quite successful few turns here. We've done, we've done, I think we're in position wise, we're very well uh, defended on this hill. Um, it's not a difficult slope, I think. It's just, it's just a, a slope. Um, and we're 200 height. There's a slight. Yeah, there's a big hill here, followed by like a gentle slope down there. So, um, we'll see what happens with the ca their cavalry on the right. See if we can make any issues with it. 
Oh, the veterans! The veterans have gone! But they did very well. They soaked up all the fire from that one. That's 12% in that one. Unit. And a rally there. They've received the call to arms. Scott Carey's got to be off. And it is 12%. 4% is nothing at this moment in time, gents. It's all to play for. All to play for. We're going to keep this fire. And disrupting one of their units. Got to watch for that cavalry on the right. It's going to charge at any time. Oh dear. Let's make sure we uh, sure keep these flanks protected. I don't think they're going to rally. That medium and light cannon on their side not doing very well. Here come the uh, parliamentary cavalry. Yeah, they are flanking around. Well, they're trying to. And a charge from the cavalry. Oh, that is absolutely painful. We do have the pike and shot ready to charge them, hopefully. I don't know if I can charge. I'm hoping I can, because otherwise that's going to be a pain train for me. Cannon away hitting the left. Come on, guys. Keep that fire up. Whoa. And there goes the veterans. There could be a break. And they're gone. I'm hoping they will continue charging them. Mm. Oh, you know what? I can't. I can't charge that unit type. That's... Oh, we have to turn and face the charge in the next turn. We'll get these guys to turn around this side. And we just need to unleash hell onto the... Uh, who can we shoot? We're not going to shoot the cannon. I think we're going to... Do I turn this turn? Who? Where do I turn? That is the question. No, they can't charge them. What unit type are they? The horse? Well, okay, we're just going to have to carry on. And that is true. Pike a shot in the centre. Very nice damage here. This cavalry unit here and here are going to cause me some big issues. Oh, 22 from the bow! Ha! <laughs> Fan does he do. Oh. I think we need the cannon support to the left. I think we need to actually start pummeling the cavalry. Um, these Highlanders will shoot the Dragoons, I think. And we'll shoot the horse. We could run out and charge, but I think that'd be suicide. Auto break. That's it. Back with you, lad. Back with you. Oh, these guys have nothing to shoot now. Well, we'll go hunting. Oh, no, we'll have a, we'll have a pop of the guys running away. Uh, I'm a bit uncertain now with this right flank, but we'll see what happens in this turn. Cannon away. Nothing. And a rally. Thought they would break this turn. There's going to be like one t more turn. Wow, this musket line is just horrendous. I feel some units on the right, the Scottish units are taking a bit of a hammering. And the cavalry come up the infantry in the woods. They have, they have a right go at that cavalry in that open. They do not like them. They've, they've seems, they've, they seem to be going all the way around. And here's that charge against the Scots again in the front. Oh, they're one step away from running away. So there we go, it's 23%. There's lots of the unit ready to break though. So I reckon we can bring this back. And there's the break. And disrupting the pike and shot. And breaking again there. Disrupting the other Scots in the centre. And there goes the Scott Lancers. And they're off. We're in the front though. We're in the front. 
Oh, hopefully we can charge them. I'm sure we can be able to charge them. Nope. And we're just going to have to shoot them. And we are disrupted here. Uh, we shall just turn to face them. This horse is going to cause major issues. Major issues here. And we're just going to have to pummel. And we're going to have to turn the cannon back around again. I think we're going to have to bring this infantry this side. Just hopefully support the wedge of troops that are coming my way. And we're going to have to troops there. And we already shot there. And fire again. Yes, they are. They've, they've upset me, they have there. I, there's, <laughs> there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. And the power of the bow, sir, towards you. And we'll have another go at the dragoons. Hmm. I'm a bit upset. I'm going to have to, to divert some pike and shot to that side. They can't do anything. These guys, I don't particularly... Uh, I, I'm going to move them out. One. And then see if I can just take a pop at something. What the range of them? Just one space out of range of the fragmented cavalry. So we're going to have to fire half arc there. Oh, let's see the pain of the right side. It could crumble. Crumble. The canard away. They're off. That pike and shot are so off. Yep, there you go. Called it. <laughs> Just eating me. <sighs> Bleeding neck. Is that? It's the veteran unit. Oh, it's no, they're not the veterans. They're determined. They're determined. So the cavalry seems to have saved the day for the parliamentary forces on that open. Now they've seen have uh, come out of... Oh, the cavalry is literally taking a long way around. Let's see if I can pull back some dignity. Cavalry is just firing away. Indiscriminately. So once that uh, pike is shot, you get some side. It's gonna, oh, and we have a rally. The Scots have rallied on the right. Yes, please check out that deal. It is very, very good. Very good. And we'll turn here. These guys are fleeing, of course. Um, oh. And firing away. We need to fire. Oh, we need to turn, to be honest with you. We definitely need to turn here to face these for when they do that overcharge. And we need to, hopefully, we can just shoot as much of these bad guys up as possible. And we turn to the north here. And then firing away the fight shot. The canard will start peppering the cavalry off. Causing a disruption. Brilliant. And we are going to back up. <sighs> you ready for it, guys? No, I'm going to get charged otherwise. Oh, well, we made it. We made it. We made it without any horrific um, disruption. Oh, can you please just run away, Mr. Dragoons? Please just run away. All right, we're going to push all this cav uh, the pike and shot as much as we can up there. Um, we're going to have to turn these back around, because I'm not too sure if this cavalry will try and take advantage of me moving a few of my troops to the right. Um, that is it. I've tried to lessen the blow of this charge from the cavalry, but we'll certainly see. We'll certainly see. That's all I can do in good faith. <laughs> yes, of course that will happen. And more enemy forces have, have turned up. But we will fight bravely on to the bitter end. To the bitter end. I'd love to see what's turned up. I bet you top, top dollar is a lot of cavalry. A lot of cavalry's turned up. The cavalry here, now struggling. They definitely are off. But remember guys, I've, I have formed up here to face the um, onslaught of cavalry. Ha! <laughs> There's the... Uh, 50. Get back where you flank. It's a fantastic deal, Great Grey Knight. Even it's worth it. It's very worth getting that game.
Oh, it's a lot of infantry. Uh, some cavalry. It's going to take a while to get down here. Oh, they finally charged the Scots in the woods. <laughs> get out of our woods, lad. Uh, the cavalry slowly uh, coming around to the rear. Oh, here comes the drag. <laughs> here comes the cavalry slap bang at the cannons. Can I pull something fantastic off to uh, block that charge? I played a few of the uh, uh, some of the scenarios, uh, which is quite good. I think the Battle, Battle of Little Bighorn. I downloaded the one that was quite fun. And my troops running away, all the way back. Oh, 70, yep, they're definitely off. Let's see now if we can pick any of this uh, cavalry and infantry off. Okay, you're going to get cannon in your face. Will it disrupt you and make you run away? No, it doesn't. Ooh. Come on. Get rid of them dragoons. Yes, they will be gone soon. Are we going to turn here? Or we'll a shot at the... Nope. Okay. We can't remember we can't charge them, so we're just gonna have to shoot. I'll have a look at that pixel. That sounds like another uh, a, a stream in the future. That does. Okay, who's not? So we'll turn to the centre here and then fire at the cavalry. Oh, that's not even worth the charge. We'll turn. Nope, we can't turn because the flank because uh, it was. Disrupting them, which is good. And we're just going to have to load. Disrupting the cavalry in the centre. Ha! Lots of lows right to you. Uh, do we unload at the cavalry? I think we turn to the north and we either shoot the cavalry unit or we shoot the uh, pike and shot. I think we're going to shoot the pike and shot though because we're more likely to break them. Here. Probably won't break them, but we're going to definitely cause some aggravation to them. Um, and the cab this uh, pike and truck is, is still going to come around to this side. That's good. It, it looks like a little bit of a dire situation here. <sighs> but I think we can definitely pull it back. We've got to be careful of this cavalry coming around to the rear, though. To put that into consideration. <laughs> cannon away. Shooting at my cannon, actually. A rally for the cavalry, which was on the bottom of the hill. Ah, uh, yes. Losing a le level of cohesion there. Oh, this is toe-to-toe -to -toe musket fire here in this centre. Absolutely devastating. Uh, be careful the reinforcements on the way. They are going to spoil my tea party when they get down here. And again with a charge into the woods. Ha, ha, ha. Get out, lad. My wood. Um, there goes the cannon. Unfortunately, it cannot withstand the charge of them horses and ponies just stepped on that crew. And the Dragoon's finally breaking and running away. That was quite impressive. I'm quite happy with the way that turned out. It appalled my decision. Bringing that unit of pike and shot around there has um, opened my flank up a little bit here. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's not going to be good. But we'll, we'll still fight on. We we'll, shall do this. Okay. Going to see if we can break them. Yes. Get back, son. And we're going to turn to the left and then unleash here. Oh, zero to two. Well, the guy's right in front. Um, ugh, we're going to have to turn here. Uh, we're going to turn here against the cavalry. And then we're going to fire away. And we need to move this infantry right up. Oh, I hate thee. There's no one do button. There's no one do button in this game, and it's so infuriating. Okay, we'll try the dragoons first and see if that breaks them. But if it breaks them, we can use the pike and shot units elsewhere. Nope, they don't. So we're going to try again. Yes! Off you go, son. Off you go. And we're going to fire some bows from the fragmented troops. Um, what range have they got? Are they going to be in range for turn? They should be. Is it in range? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for 
Is it bows that got hit? No, they've got muskets in the unit. Oh, just one. Sadly. And disrupted. Yeah, so Ashley. Not a bad turnaround, I was going to say. I was going to say I'm quite happy with that. But we'll certainly see. Pixar, we'll look at some of them scenarios. I'm definitely going to look at that later. And a rally for the computer player. Bringing it down to 20%. Another rally. Wow. They have... They have listened to the call of arms. How many units have rallied? How many... How much... How much rallying happened there? Mess my day up. Oh, we, we're just going to hold on. Hold on. I think like four units rallied in that little one little bout there. They heard the call to arms. I love the bows. That has just made my day. Oh, the cavalry has finally, finally come at my rear. Get off my hill. It's my hill. Gee, that... Spoilt my day. Well, we don't care about four rallies. We'll just break them again. Ah, oh, a rally for me! <laughs> Have that. At least that unit can now face off the cavalry in the rear. Okay, so they they are fragmented to hell, but uh, they're gonna they're gonna be a target. Okay, let's do damage limit. Oh, you know what? They were fragmented. They would have broke this turn. I'm sure of it. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to see what happens here. We'll move these forwards. Fire some bows. We'll fire this guy. See if he calls what damage he causes. Nope. Uh, we need to move. Oh. Crap, I shouldn't... No, there's no undo button! There's no undo button! How? How, guys? There's... <laughs> I just hate this game sometimes. I've messed it up. Oh, God, we're going to have to turn and fire a full volley at him. That's it, son. I would like to break you this turn. Let's, let's, let's sacrifice that. Oh, the calamity of misclicking. We are going to turn to the north to face them. And who is in the full volley? Oh my! Oh, I don't want to turn because I may get flanked. Um, fire again. That's ah disrupted. No undo button. The undo button. It's the. <laughs> I like field of glory because I can undo when I make a silly mistake. But on this, it's that's it. You're done. I just oh never mind. The curse. Okay, let's get these horsemen out of my forest again. Oh, go on. Oh, I was expecting a break or something. I expect too much. They're still in range. Uh, okay, who have an activated? So there you go, that was my turn. Sad to say, undo button. If I lose this game, it's because of the undo button. <laughs> uh, what's that cavalry going to do in the centre? That's the question. Stop rallying! Stop you! Stop rallying! Three rallies. I've got my fingers. Three rallies now. Ah, uh, four rallies. Three rallies. Damn you, Oliver Cromwell! Stop giving them so, in so much inspirational spirit. Stop it. That's it. All your rallies are in vain when my muskets come raining down. On Cromwell, I, f I think they feel God is on their side. He's not. Get out of it, Mister. Your give spoon whittlers. Get back to the field. Oh, <laughs> they didn't last very long, <laughs> but at least they've got the cavalry a little bit um, <laughs> busy. A fall back from the cavalry on the right, and the charge. That is a flank attack. <laughs> at least they fell back. Gives me a turn to uh, move my line back. This is going to be close. It's not really. I need to start breaking some of these. It, the, the points are in the cavalry units, I can tell. The, the cavalry is high value targets. But I'm just not breaking them. Got 
That's it. Run away. Run away, Mr. Cavalryman. Okay, let's not make a mistake this time. We're going to sit there and that's it. Who can we shoot at? Oh! No. Uh, oh, it's... Ugh, I don't really want to show my flank there. That's... I think I'll go and think about it. I'll come back to that one. All right. Uh, we shall turn, but we're still out of range of that dragoon, the uh, horse in the rear. I'm assuming they know I'm in there because I get revealed every turn. Okay. Turn away again. I'm just gonna have to just keep shooting them. There's just the, so many points in that cavalry units that breaking the pipe and shot units is poor. Uh, we are going to turn to face here. Uh, I'm going to have to stay there. I'm going to have to stay there. I don't think there's any point in me turning because they will charge me in the flank and that is going to mess my little day up. Uh, that's turn, guys. I know we're we're fighting a losing battle here, but we're going to see if we can claw back the point to make it even closer. Cannon away again. Both aiming at the Royal Pike and shot on the hill uh, and disrupting them, unfortunately. Stop rallying. At least three rallies that turn. Three rallies. Oh, ho, ho, the Pike shot on that hill. It pounded once more. Oh, they breaks. They broke. I know my tea and crumpets. They like that little red regal hat I've got. They want it. Oh, and they charge again at the Scots in the woods, but fall back again. Oh, no. Oh, they're in range of a rear. My derriere. My derriere. They're charging my derriere. Oh, that's a crap sandwich, that is. Crap sandwich, but I am currently the filling in that crap sandwich. Too many points in the cavalry. It's been an awesome battle. With God's, oh no! At least he's not going to double charge me. Okay, we have to turn. Oh, we can't. Because they're my priority target. We're going to have to turn this way then. But at least they're not going to charge me for another turn. Eek, Karumba. <laughs> Necessary evil. Yes, I have divine right to rule. I shall continue that. And disrupting the uh, cavalry there. Oh, we will turn to the left here then. And we'll try and have a... We'll half arc fire. Oh, that's kind of pointless, that was. And, oh, at them there. Oh, come on. And a break. Get back. Get back, told you. The points are in the cavalry. There's so many points in that cavalry to actually break them. It's just breaking the infantry. I think mostly they just ha they have cavalry left. Most most of their units are cavalry. They've got one one unit of infantry there, and the rest are all cavalry. Apart from I mean, they've got yeah three units, and the rest are cavalry or cannon. Continue my range from the tower. Thank you very much. Oh, and finally the raw pike and shot on the hill are broken due to being battered for several turns with a canard. Just gonna sit on that hill. Sit on that hill and let them just call me. So much cavalry. Aye lad, get out of my forest. Oh, <laughs> flank attack. What if they nope, they're not gonna survive that. <laughs> first first combat. Oh, I, I didn't even notice their pixel with the four to five people. Hello, don't don't be afraid to say hello on the screen. Lend a tactical view. It may help me. Uh, 
Huzzah! The, the, <laughs> the packet shot. Oh, it's so close. Four turns left. Hello, bone bleeder. Oh, that emoji is hilarious. And the pike and roll pike and shot. Hear the call of the crown. <laughs> if only, but too late. Uh, we are going to turn around. Can we see the cavalry on the hill? Yes, we can. And the dragoon, uh, the cavalry on the left will get uh, volleyfied, of course, again, and bowfied. Ah. Oh. For the free beer. I, well, I didn't know about this free beer, uh, Van Bishop. Is this an offer for everybody? And one to six. Turn to the left again. We need to hopefully blow the bejeebus out of the cavalry. Oh, yes. Go on. Uh, we are going to pull the rest of the pike and shot now uh, to the left. Eleven, three to eleven. I think hypothetically, I maybe should move them like that. So there you go. That's all I can do. I've definitely closed that gap. Regardless, this is going to go to the to the to the end. Cannon away again. Now the infantry, which the reinforcements are coming in, uh, they literally oh, getting very close. Just got to hold on. Just hold on to this hill. And the cavalry now turning to my flank. Ah! <laughs> the dragoons! The, the, the not dragoons, the horse finally ran away. Oh wow, even with that hill advantage. And they broke again. Two units this time. The reinforcements are here probably too late, but they may get a turn of being effective. Uh, three turns remaining. Wow, that's such a long shot from the uh, cannon. 5% different, ladies. Oh, fragmented. I feel they are just going to steal this game. They're just going to steal it. And we can now turn the Scottish troops to the main battle. Well, this fragmented troop can't particularly do very much. Um, what's the range of the bow? Not as long as I would like it to be. Uh, the Dragoons shall move up here. Uh, we'll turn to the left. And we'll pick up one of these units that are disrupted. Which I think will be the infantry. And we do have movement point to turn to the left again. Only one to five, though. And, oh, we can't really... I don't think... I can't see over that hill. So I'm just going to shoot the guys on the top of the hill. Again. And they are doing that. So we've, we've, we've narrowed the... Uh, the the score down. Oh, it's eleven percent now. <sighs> There's a unit here. I think these guys, these pike and shot on this. They're very veteran. No, they're off. Oh. They've certainly paid for this victory, regardless of this. Oh, that's it. Auto breaking you. Like I said, it's the cavalry that hold the points. Charge against the Scottish in the woods. And they still hold. <laughs> that would have saved my bacon. I know it's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. But like I said, it's the cavalry. Uh, and that, that Scott, the Scots can't exit that wood without getting charged and ripped to shreds. Oh, just three percent there with two turns left. Can somehow? I should have. Not after that, unit just fled. Oh, it's so very close. And I think have their units rallied. There's a fragmented unit there, but I don't think I can... They'll be in range, won't they? No, they won't. Sad to say. 
Oh, for a second there, I thought they were range. Two to seven, it's not a fantastic. I'll be tempted just to move up so I can actually shoot that. Shoot that fragmented unit. There. And they can't. Oh, come on. A very poor effort on my side. That is turn, I think. Yeah, I think maybe a draw. I'd be happy for a draw, but we'll just see. Let's go into the edge. Let's go into the end. It's the combat that's going to let me down here. I don't think the reaction fire is going to be enough. If these. No, they're not going to hold. Reinforcements have just turned up in the nick of time. Oh, that charge! <laughs> that charge. Brutal. And they're off. GG. GG. <laughs> Clearing the field. The Scots in this wood have done me proud this game. Wow. That cavalry on that last charge. That was two overcharges, I think. That's broken me anyway. Oh! How close. How very close that was. My lord, your army has lost heart. You are defeated, unfortunately, there, ladies and gentlemen. We suffered a defeat that was close, but only good English... Well, there was lots of dead Englishmen on that field right there. The Scots doing very well. I don't know what I'll do. I'll try... I think, I've not tried the Ottomans and Polish. I think we can... Try, I think it's the age of... I can't remember the um, one of the modules it's on, but that was a harsh battle there. Uh, we'll try some Ottomans out. It was very good. Wow, what, what, what will we play? I think we'll play on the hardest difficulty there. <laughs> that was a stoic defence from me. Uh, sad to say, um, the the Polish forces just rammed me off that uh, field. But, oh. That was just harsh. Harsh, harsh, harsh. Did we say we wanted to play some um, Ottomans? Ottoman Turkish, I think it will be. Against some, can we, I'm sure we got Polish on here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll play some Ottoman Ottoman Turkish against some Polish, and we'll, we'll see some big, uh, big nasty units of um, um, cavalry. Okay, so there we go. We're going to play some Ottomans. I haven't played them in a while, uh, and we're probably just going to go for an open battle here. So we'll have about an hour left of this uh, stream. Uh, so we're going to do potluck and of course guys oh no we're going to do auto selection uh, for the forces uh, give it a little bit of an edge give it a little bit of a scare there and I'll have to use my um, noggin going to get a bit, bit medieval get medieval here we are so the forces <laughs> uh, so we have heavy guns uh, probably immobile I assume um, cavalry with bow Irregular archers, uh, Taj, light horse with bow, poorly armed levers, uh, just uh, musketmen, very early muskets, and we have heavy cavalry with bow, horse archers with bow, there's a theme here, I have a mostly ranged army here, so this is going to be certainly interesting, the Ottoman Turks versus the Polish, I think we're invading Hungary aren't we at the moment in time, uh, so look at the battlefield, here we are. So we have a giant hill on my right side, which seems very nice to take. Um, and on the left, uh, open ground all the way. We have some hidden woods here. For, I can't actually... Uh, so we're going to put a cannonade on there. So we're going to have our light uh, troops spread out a little bit. And we're going to cause havoc, hopefully, on their front. And then hopefully kite away a few units. We're going to have the musketmen on the right. 
Um, we're going to put most of our musket, um, but they could Jazir's guys on the right. Uh, we've got bows, Ugh. lots and lots of bows, and the cavalry will field on the left, and the levies might just hang back and see where we're. At. Oh, we've got lots of bows. We're going to put the bow cavalry on the right as well, and they're going to. I'm going to bring them, hook them around this hill, hopefully messing with us. I'll put the musketeers in the woods, I think. Should I put some musketeers in the woods? Uh, it's a, they're going to be... They're, I might put one... Oh, it's a, it's a major... Yeah, we'll rush these to the right then. Oh, we'll put, yeah, we'll put these guys on this right side, left side. And we'll see where that goes. So we're going to so we're going to do. We're going to see what happens. See what the Polish got to bring to this fight. Light ones will go in there. See what the Ottomans can pull out the bag. See if we can invade Hungary. Oh dear, I think there's going to be some nice, nice cavalry on their side. <laughs> yeah, and there is. Oh, 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 Lancers. All I can see is Lancers at the moment in time. Oh, Lancers. The light ones. I put the light ones in there. Oh dear. Here we are. The Polish will have their revenge. We have mostly foot crossbowmen. That's cool. You know, I've not seen that portrait before, and that is a very nice portrait of a uh, crossbowman. It's very. And we just have lancers, volley banners. What are they? They're lancers, lancers, lancers. All right, we're going to run our our light um, lights into here. What range do they have? Oh my! <laughs> They've got no range, guys. No range whatsoever. What's the cannon range? Oh, look at the state of that! It's got range for days. Range for days. <laughs> look. <laughs> I need to move up, though. I, I, I definitely need to move up. Definitely need to move up. So we're going to see. It's going to be a lot of um, moving around. A lot of um, skirmishes here. Let's get our cavalry into some decent positions. Because uh, it's going to be a very interesting battle once they get into their combat ranges. That cannon is ridiculous. Is that rough ground? Oh, we don't want to... Causing no disruption. Uh, poorly armed levies will malinger in the rear. We'll keep some of this cavalry just back for a few turns and see if they want to join us in this um, in this melee or see if they want us to move into the middle because this is just an open battle as well. So everything's moved up. I really should have put that cannon down. True. <laughs> The Polish seem to be just sitting there now. They don't. They don't want to move. They are not. They don't want to move. That's good with me. It gives me a turn to a turn or two to uh, actually um, maneuver myself. Oh, that kind of range for days. Get this cavalry on the right as soon as possible. And these guys will fill in this spot. Uh, we'll move these arches up. And do you know what? I shouldn't have moved them there. What's the range of these? Oh, two squares. I'm happy with that. And turn. Let's see if the Polish um, meet us in the field. And the Lancers do that. They come to meet me in the open. Oh, I'm, but I'm, I'm actually bricking it against these guys. Them Polish troops, that's the entire their entire my their my left flank, their right flank uh, has come out to meet me uh, in the open. Oh that's, they look very nice. They're gonna be a, a give me pain train. Alright I will turn. Hawk oh, fire. Oh, you know what? I hate I hate this. <laughs> no undo. Eat the bow. We're going to turn there. It's going to take the cannon. One more turn to get up there. And the archers have actually quite considerable range, actually. Uh, 
Uh, he does. I think he does. He senses weakness. Senses weakness. Uh, oh, they're just poorly armed levies. The cl clubman. Mob. I have a mob. Let's see if we can outmaneuver the enemy here. And, oh, Tartar's a very small range there. And, oh. We'll move them just there, and then. That's going to be turned. Let's see what the computer does. I'm hoping the my troops evade. I'm hoping if I get some, they get some charges off, I at least evade. Oh. Absolutely aggressive. So aggressive. They certainly want a piece of me. Get the cannon set up quickly. <laughs> I need to set it up. Uh, the Polish certainly have advanced on that my left there, right flank. Um, once that main line gets into combat, it's going to be a bloodbath. Oh, just feel the feel the bow shots. Well, we're going to gun you down. Start off with six percent. I'm not happy with that. All right, we're going to we're going to deploy the cannon. Uh, we can limber the battery up, so it's not an immobile piece of equipment. So, ooh. I can say they're not got fantastic range. Uh, cavalry highly superior. They are they they are actually decent. Six percent, twenty percent lose. I've got crossbows as well, hand crossbows. Oh. And welcome to the Bow Age. And that puts them slightly out of range there. Okay, let's just... Let's tempt them a little bit. Let's start tempted. Yes, they very com look very combaty and also uh, very shooty. So we're going to move these up. Uh, the bow, Tamarite, I have pronounced that probably very wrongly. Um, well, they're out of range. I'm hoping for some uh, evades here and disrupting the cavalry. Brilliant, actually, quite quite good for that. Uh, the mob will just stay as the mob on the hill. And and turn it is. This is having a really well or really badly, or a combination of that. It's very interesting to hear bow shots rather than muskets. It's quite nice. And the main crossbowman in the main line has started to advance in the centre. Oh, we're just shooting each other up. Let's forget combat. And we're on the defensive again. I am the mob boss. I love mobs. <laughs> that mob boss ain't gonna last lad very they don't last very long. Oh they're actually disrupting people with the bows. I I'm surprising they'd be such a big <laughs> they're doing so well. And the cannon. Are you ready for it, guys? Oh, 0 to 29. 0 to 29. Oh, you're going to feel it. Oh. <laughs> I, I consider a charge here now. Uh, we, we can't actually do that. But, but that, I, that, I was consider that charge is actually successful and then being disrupted. Oh, dear. Oh, very dear. Uh, because will not drop because they're not charged. I think we're going to charge. I know they're in the rear. And we're going to sit and shoot you. Because you're going to probably... No, they are actually all Lancers. Oh, we are toe to toe here. There's definitely... The sound file is a lot different, isn't it? 
Uh, yes, unfortunately here uh, the cavalry, the lancers have engaged. Uh, I've, 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 I've over. Uh, the problem is I get excited, very excited, and I've charged in when particularly I shouldn't have charged in. Um, but that is, uh, I'm not going to be. <laughs> they're not going to be very happy with me when they get charged. Uh, I think I've extended a bit too much into that centre, and they, the computer pair, will punish me because that. Well, well, we'll give them, give them an option here. We'll give them a, an option. And the crossbows. Let's maybe pull some of this cavalry here just to annoy them. I need a disruption. I, I suffer from getting very carried away. Oh, no one do button. I keep forgetting that. Um, I would like to shoot you. That's it, I think. I'm kind of happy with that, but there's a few com one combat up there that I shouldn't have done. We'll see if the computer can monopolise on that. I'm losing one um, thing of a layer of cohesion there. This is where it's going to hurt, guys. No, they don't. I've got look. I've got a can opener. Oh, the archer fire. Them lights in that in the uh, woods are hilarious. Oh, feel the pain! Our arrows will block out the sun. <laughs> and the right, left flank, right, my right flank of the enemy has fully engaged. It is on. Ooh. Wow, it's just the proximity we are with the enemy is... We are so, so very close to each other. And the cannon away doing absolutely nothing. I'm waiting for these crossbowmen in the centre start to open us up. I expected a charge there uh, on the centre, on that, on that side, but they didn't. I've got a few units that are absolutely stuck at this moment. So we're going to open up there, and these guys are in combat. Oh, they are fragmented. Oh, do I do that? Do I do it? Do I, will it force cohesion? That's the issue. Will it? Will it do a monopoly of break? I don't know if that will work. Uh, the archers here. Can they shoot anybody? Oh, yes, they can. We'll have a go at the um, Cossack troops. Uh, the musketmen are horrendously out of range, but the uh, Drabby uh, crossbowman here uh, will take a full volley of the cannon. The mob boss, the mob boss guys are just going to sit there guarding the cannon because uh, they're not going to do anything else. Alright, we're going to. The problem is, I feel I'm doing better shooting at them than actually engaging them in combat. Oh, they actually. So I think we're going to. Even the half arc fire, I think we still want to face forwards to them. Ooh! Yes, you're true. You're true, Pixel. Definitely out of position. I don't want to do that. And I feel any other time I would have done it. Let them break naturally in the combat phase rather than me having to force that issue with somebody else. And we're just going to... Like I said, we've messed up one charge here, but... Oh, disrupted from fire. And disruption. Huzzah! And that... Oh, we can still go. We can still go. We're hot. Oh, we're out of arc here. And 14. Mob boss. We'll shoot again here. Wow. The uh, Ottomans, the Turks. Just crack shots with them bows. Crack shots. We've done some really good disruptions. And um, and we've got uh, uh, fragmentation of troops there. It's fantastic. Actually, I feel quite... I'm feeling slightly confident here. Famous last words, of course. And the crossbowmen in the centre are shooting away. The <laughs> and they broke. Only pulling one of my units out of positioning. And a double break. A double. Was that my unit? No, it wasn't. It was theirs. Brilliant.
So pulling one of you is out of position, so still not too bad. That that's all my fault there. Double charge, and they're off probably. Stood the ground there. In the faces. I advanced too close. Wow, the archer fire is horrendous. And there's the break. Hopefully now some of my musket men can actually come into the fray and start helping to pick off some of these cavalry units. It is such a mess there. I don't know if, if I'm on top here or not. No, I'm not on top. <laughs> Cannons away, fortunately causing no damage. Eek! And me very much underestimating the power of the Polish Lancer. Let's see if we can clear some of this mess up I've just made. Oh, is that an overcharge? Yes, it is an overcharge. Right, they are all over me like a bad rash. Let's see if we can uh, solve this. They're out of position, but I can't do anything about that. They're in combat. Um, we... Oh, fiddlesticks. Didn't mean to move them. Eek, yeah. Well, they're in combat. I don't particularly want to join them in combat. Um, they won't move. All right, well, let's see what we can do. Move around here. Move these into the rear here. And they're in combat. They're in combat. Like I said, I don't want to join them in combat. And we're just going to fire away here. I feel somehow I threw a lot of these units into the bin. Causing a big disruption there. Hmm, and we can fire our biscuits, causing 31. And they're blocked within the, over the hill. Um, do we go, I think we go to the right. Nope, they're being blocked. And they're in combat, and they're not going to do particularly anything. Oh, that right flank is going to get eaten soon. So we we'll turn to the right there. Hopefully we can mess with that up. The mob will stay still, I guess. And then we'll cannon uh, this lancer banner on the right. No, we're not joining that combat. And let's We can't m move as well, so we're going to have to only fire half arc. And disrupting them. Brilliant. So pulling myself out of position here, majorly. And that's turn. And the crossbowman in the centre causing havoc on my line. Just waves, waves of arrows. And there goes my cavalry chasing them away. And the uh, crossbowman charging into the rear of the cavalry. And there's that charge. Oh, disrupting the Polish cavalry as well. Oh, but them lanterns are just brutal. So. Oh, wow. The centre crumbling a little bit, but we're going to see if we can hold tight. 
And there he goes charging against the uh, musketman in the centre. They will fall back. Like I said before, the points are definitely in their cavalry units. and So I need to try and pick up as many of them as possible. Wow, the crossbowmen certainly doing a lot of reaction fire in that centre. It's definitely disrupt on that right flank. And disrupting the enemy cavalry there. And fragmenting the cavalry there. That could be a charge there, I think, on that left side. Fragmenting them there, which is sad to say they may pull back on that right. And it broke again. Oh, is that an overcharge? Yes, it will be. Two overcharges. A fallback and looking for a fallback here as well. Ooh. Okay, my turn. So, let's turn... I reckon they will break. Um, they're in combat. Are these guys back to it? Yes, they are. Uh, I think... We'll break, we'll charge them because we're more likely to break them. Hopefully causing cohesion here. Or an overcharge, and it is an overcharge. Not too bad pixel, uh, I had technical difficulties with it. Um, but I need to get, I, I messed up a little bit. And we'll charge here I think, we need to charge to do the breaks. Alright, I'm going to shoot away and fragmenting the infantry there. But the reaction fire there is... I'll message you my username on there so you can see what, what I'm doing. Uh, I'm firing away here at the Lancer banners again. Oh, and we'll fire at the cavalry. Hmm... I think we're gonna, gonna have to. Oh, this is a. This is not good at all. And the archers will fire at the fragmented cavalry. Uh, the light troops. Sad to say, I pulled them out of that wood, uh, which is not going to heed them very well. Um, I think I'm going to leave them there on Overwatch. I'm going to turn the uh, mob to the right for when this cavalry unit more than likely charges the flank of that cav uh, infantry unit. Hmm, I'm a little bit stunned what to do with this unit now. They're going to get either flanked, but they're fragmented, so they're more likely not to charge. So I think we're going to turn to the left here against this unit of um, light horse. Do we pull this light? I think we're going to be a bit bold. We're going to have to be... And that is turn done. Victory or defeat. So closing the gap a little bit there. Oh, the crossbowman just firing volleys after volley. And the cavalry and a rally there for the Polish. Was that right? Yeah, it was ready for the Polish. And an auto break for them. Brug, off they go. Disruption of the Polish there. Come on, that has to be good for me there. And they're off. Brilliant. They're making way to the left flank. Uh, but putting my units out of um, position for that turn. And the lights, the musketmen on the hill now opening up. But there's a lot more crossbowmen there. The mob men are going to come into action soon. I can feel it. Oh, the cavalry on the right are going to get squished in that sandwich of cavalry. And the overcharge into my cavalry. Oh, there's nothing I can do about that. Some nice rifle shots there. Very nice. Cannon point blank. Missed horrendously. I mean, 
expecting a break on that right side now, and they did. They're probably going to drop some cohesion off that unit next to them, and they don't. Disappearing units, disappearing. And off they go. Oh, we have some volley in the back. And here we are, back to my turn. Let's see if we can change the fortune of this battle. So we're going to bring this arch unit from the left straight down onto the centre right, but also completely out of range of doing anything. Uh, yes, we should have shoot them. Oh, the cannon. So we'll shoot the cannon. Put the mob men in front of the cannon. Otherwise they will get charged by the uh, cavalry there. So of course we're going to shoot the fragmented unit. Auto breaking them. Brilliant. Off you go. And fragmenting the... Um... Oh, that's deadly. Brilliant. Off you go. So we're going to uh, body fire the cavalry unit and break them again. Uh, we're going to turn to the centre with the next musket unit. Um, that's devastating. Sadly not causing any cohesion or anything like that. So these guys are still fine. Mm. Can I move there? Would I have enough points just to turn to the left? Mm. I think we do. Yeah, we do. And causing a fragmentation. Brilliant. So that was a quite a productive turn, changing the tide of the battle in here. Uh, still a bit worried about this flank because we have just got so outnumbered with cavalry there. Um, they're going to take one, maybe two more turns to reorganise themselves to f uh, face attack against me here. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's see what we can do here. And the crossbowman wailing away. 4% difference now. It's going to change a little bit now because they're definitely going to break probably on that right. Our cavalry on the, on the left has some chance to make a difference in this battle. Maybe real, um, unless they don't char chase down that fleeing infantry. Their musketmen are a lot better than I expected. The damage they cause is horrendous. Oh, look at that, 58. Too scared about this uh, disruptive cavalry. There's the charge, and that they're going to. I'm expecting them to run away this turn, and they are broken. But regardless of that, take uh, taking two of the units out of action for a turn. Or two. And there's the charge. Ow! 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 Sad to say that hill did not help. And back to my reaction shooting phase. Routing away. Okie dokes. Let's see what we can do. Off the shoot. And we shall... Nope, the line of sight is blocked. So we're going to... 65 and not even a disruption. Turn the cannon. But of course it cannot shoot. There is lances there. Uh, lances to the left. Lances to the right. 42. And full arc fire on the side down there. Causing a disruption, which is good. Uh, and yes, we will charge the rear of that unit, thank you very much. Uh, absolutely failing her miserably there. And we'll open up on the fragment of the cavalry unit there. And a break. And two volley volley units there. That will now shoot me and shoot me. 
Brill. Ah, oh, so want to charge in with the mob men. There's not any advantage there being on that hill. Two percent. We'll turn anyway, and we shall turn. Could we possibly shoot anybody? I don't think so. No. Um, so there you go. That was pretty productive. Can we just hold on with the onslaught? Was that a rally for me? I think it was. Hopefully trying to break these Cossack troops here. Even that flank charge. And that was a rally for them as well. There's the charge. Oh, actually, no, they're charging the crossbowmen with the uh, crossbowmen. But they fell back in good order. So, slack 20% difference here. Hopefully, to change it with some of the cavalry deaths. Oh, I need to turn them round. <laughs> that sport my day a little bit. Oh dear, I think I've upset these people. Just a little bit. Come on. I can feel some breaks here. And the Polish cavalry seems to have stopped. Oh, the Cossacks are just holding on. Slightly regret charging them now, being stuck in combat. And what of my troops rallied in the rear? No, it must have been theirs that rallied. Okay, will that break them? I'm going to shoot these up first and then we'll decide what to do here. So 5 to 18. Disrupting them. Fantastic. And then we'll move up here. And blame it, we will charge here. Fantastic, they'll be going in the combat turn. And sad to say we're going to have to turn to face the cavalry charge here. The mobmen cannot charge in. Oh, we do have a cannon range. And causing a disruption. Brilliant. And another disruption here will open up against... We'll try the archers first, see what damage they cause. And nothing, and of course we shall... Oh. I so want to charge... I'm going to it, we're in. We're going in, the mobmen. And they're not doing very effective at all. So there you go, that's turn 16%. Sad to say, it's on, I'm on the losing streak tonight. The losing streak. I don't know if we've got time for another one. We might have time for another small little skirmish of some description. Uh, that's a rally for them. <laughs> and the Cossacks finally breaking. Uh, pulling my forces to the right side. Is that an overcharge? No, it's not. But it's going to give the computer player a food for thought. Uh, what to do with the drab meat crossbowmen people. Yeah, it's one's turn to the left. This cavalry is probably going to charge once, and then it's going to go for everybody. Oh, the, the musketmen hold, but the flank, that was going to happen. I feel I could have gauged that better with the mobmen. Most of the Polish cavalry um, charging away against the fleeing troops, uh, which has given me a, a slight breath. Come on, I could do some good shots here. Cannon away. He shot the cannon, he, sh he shot the unit in like over half of the battlefield. That was fantastic. Is anybody in comp? 
A lot of fleeing troops. Oh, it's the oh the mob men. The mob men uh, did not do very well there. And there goes the cannon. Oh, the calamity! Just as the cavalry return, but they run out of movement points. Um, oh, come on, we're going to be in there. We've got nothing to particularly lose now for the end, end of this battle. And uh, we're looking for an overcharge as well. And oh, sad to say, if I moved one space back, I would have had uh, a full arc fire. If we don't get a rally in the next turn, it might, it might be it. And an auto break. Any more cohesion tests for anybody? No. And a break. Oh, how did you like that musket fire? And that is everything I could literally throw at the enemy in that turn. Six percent different, so very close battle, regardless of uh, anything happening here. Come on, charge through! Keep following through with that charge. So keep going, keep going. But I think one good charge here from any of the lances in the centre, where the cannon and musket guys are, it's go home and have a cup of tea. Oh, the crossbow shots. Oh, that's it. They're off. they got to be off. No! That's, that's it. I think they just put me over points there a little bit. Oh, this the chain charges. The chain charges. Oh. I need a strong drink after that. That has to be it. 62, yeah, it's got me over break. Unless unless some miraculous recovery, everybody rallies. But no, I think that's I think that's called it. Back to the Middle East with you lads. So, unfortunately there, two so very close. So very close. Oh, I was upset about that defeat. Just as I thought in the few turns, we were just starting to bring it back there. The Polish Lancers just wreck me. And literally just... Oh, that was fantastic though, regardless of that, that was a good battle there to the Polish player and without further ado we're going to probably go for one last, one last war, one last battle before we call this stream, we've got about half an hour left so I can probably fill just one little battle in there, we'll probably go from Italian Wars, I'm going to look through the forces, see what I might fancy playing uh, for this last game. Um, so guys, like I said, don't forget to check the Sliverin site and the Fanatical site for this game because it is on offer. Um, we're going to go potluck, and we're going to we're going to choose our army today. Allied French, I don't know. We've got Swiss, Italian, Spanish, Spanish Imperial. Ah, I'm not entirely sure. I think we want to play some Swiss against. It's got to be French, hasn't it? Italian. Oh, Spanish versus French sound good to me. Uh, and we're going to have to go for a smaller battle as there's half an hour left of the stream. And uh, train with potluck, open battle. Let's see if we can do slightly better than we just did in the last two uh, battles. But it was gods of that. It was so very, very close. And of course, I've, I've chosen to choose my force now. So we've got a just under 500 point battle. Uh, let's see what choices we have. So we automatically settled some skirmishes. Uh, we've got Jinits. Um... Uh, armoured sword. Ooh, they look quite groovy. Uh, got some mast um, muskets, which we're going to choose. We've got a medium gun. Oh, we're going to go for some fully armed lancers. Yes, please. And 
What else have we got here? Italian mounted crossbowmen. Spanish pike. Uh, yes, please. We need something to be the backbone of our army uh, for this. Uh, we've got some mass crossbowmen, which we'll definitely choose. And some German mercenary pike, of course. And that's 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 the lot. That's the lot. So this is the final. We're going to have some um, Spanish versus the French. Uh, masked pikemen here. Um, we've got some definitely some elite cavalry to bulk that up. So if we look on here, oh wow, a very similar battle to what we just had uh, with the terrain type. Uh, we don't have anything that's um, immobile or slow to move. So I think taking the uh, hill here will be quite good with the uh, mass musketmen. Uh, with uh, the pikemen in between there. We've got the light uh, um, skirmishes there. We've got the heavy cavalry, uh, which we'll keep to the left with the light troops there. And then we've got the uh, heavy, spot, heavy foot that we'll put here for any push-throughs. And let's see if we can finish this battle within half an hour of the stream ending. So close. Let's see if we can, if we will be granted a victory in tonight. So we, the Spanish... Are light guns? Wow, they've got a massive, massive block of spearmen there. And what are they? So some archers, some crossbowmen, and some heavy cavalry. Uh, very similar force here, but I've just got massed um, pikemen. So let's. I think we're going to have to engage them on their terms than mine. I think they're sitting back with these cannons. I will get outranged by them here. So moving further on. And the cavalry will just flank to that left side. We do have some uh, javelins. And the skirmishers will advance forward. What's the range on the skirmishers? Very short. Um, we'll try and get in some rough ground or hidden away in some woods. And the cannon away, straight away hitting the pikemen and swordsmen. Um, very little damage there but as we get closer we are going to get shot up and we are going to be playing a little bit more aggressively on this game I think and the range of the Musketman is very short. I forget how um, small range they have in this game. And that is turn. Cannon away again. For nil. Uh, and the French troops seem to not want it. There's pro. Oh, I didn't see that. They've got some uh, lancers in the rear as well. Uh, so there's definitely something in them woods. Uh, more than likely, ready to jump out on me. Yes, I think I'm going to have to charge straight at that cannon line. Uh, it's certainly some victory points right there. So I think that's what we're going to do. There is rough ground uh, here. So if they do choose to stay where they are, uh, they're, they're going to be disordered with the pikemen. But of course we need to uh, we need to we need to move on them. Uh, but remember there is uh, some archers there and stuff. Um, I'll just hold back till everybody gets together. But there's definitely something in them woods, uh, which I want to see what if anything will if anything will show itself. Cannon away. Uh, the light cannon now in range. And the computer player is now engaging. He's meeting me on the field. Oh, there's two big units of mercenaries. Wow. They are... What's that? 2,000. Hi, Grumba. That is a big unit. I'm going to go forward and javelin the uh, cannon. Oh. I'm just going to eat them. <laughs> well, if they can let me get that close, then I'm going to charge them, I guess. And the crossbowmen uh, shooting away, as they would expect. And we're going to shoot our mass crossbowmen at their mass crossbowmen. So there goes the medium gun. Oh, the cavalry. The cavalry is there. And they're 
out of range. We've got to be careful that rough ground on that left right side. That could cause some issues. And the mass crossbowman firing once more. I'm not too sure what's in the woods. Um, so this is going to be interesting. We'll certainly see next turn what comes out of the woods. And the light cannon doing very little damage there. F getting a 4% lead there for the uh, cannon. And the mass crossbowman willing to uh, engage there. And the cavalry charging. Uh, but falling back at the same time. We have the cro mass crossbowman on the right pushing up. We've got two cavalry units in the rear. That will play part in the game at some point. We might try and charge this light gun here as well. And the javelin troops. Oh, yeah, go on. <laughs> uh, they left that a little bit open there. So we did take uh, a little bit of... Oh, I think because these guys are here, um, I'm unable to charge the uh, mass unit of archers, the mass unit of spearmen. So we are going to go for the... Uh, and we are going to move here. And then we're going to turn around and gun the... Um, the musketman down, of course. And the superior spearman here will come here. We're going to shoot. I think so as well. Yeah, uh, well. Uh, what are they? I'm determined for... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I missed the elite there. Um, I, I, I'm confident I can outflank them. I'm confident I can outflank them. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm happy there. He says, trepidation. I'm determined, though. Superior, we're both on the elite side, but that block of 2,000 is meaty. I'm confident there with what we've just done. Uh, we'll just see what happens. Which way are they facing? They're facing this way. So they ain't going to charge me just yet, and I've got a, a, at least a flank charge there. I don't think I'm able to shoot them up as much as they are. And that could, maybe that would be... I don't think they will get any loss of cohesion uh, there because of the breaking units next to them. Oh, 63. Their unit got disrupted. Big block of cheese. What cheese do you get from Switzerland? The Swiss... What? <laughs> Swiss cheese. <laughs> Firmly, that's hilarious. I'm actually quite happy they were disorientated and the cavalry have advanced straight to the left. We need to back these up but be considered the cavalry there as well. I think if we charge here, no, well, first of all we'll unload. <laughs> ah. oh, this is why I love online games. Looking for a break. And we shall javelin you in the face. You ready for the javelins? Oh, I feel the pain there. And we are going to flank attack. And we are going to attack the Swiss there. Overcharge. Overcharge. No, they've locked the wrong way. <laughs> you idiots. And we are going to charge here. Things going in my favour. It never happens. I'm going to keep that cavalry unit just there, ready for the next turn. We actually did quite well there against the switches. Block of 2000. That's ridiculous. No! The push on, and there's the overcharge. That's what I was waiting for. But I'm sure the French will look for revenge. <laughs> and the javelins opening up, but the mast uh, musketeers shooting. Oh, from Swiss. A lot of men for 2,000. We need to break uh, some co uh, coherency. Cohesion, even, sorry. And 
Uh, we shall shoot you for the bridge. And we shall shoot the cavalry in the rear. And of course, again, we're going to javelin them. Huzzah! And for some reason, are they in combat? Uh, we are going to turn to the right. And we are going to turn to the left. And we are going to turn to the right. And for some reason, I think we're just blocked. I know, Pixel. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying my best here. I'm trying my best. Oh, no. And every flanking force. I win one. One and I. Lady Luck is not on my side tonight, that's all. Victory or defeat, you accept it as it is. It's meant If it was meant to be a victory, you'll win. If, if you're not, you're just going to lose. There's a charge against the foot of the Knights. And a big French block of Italian pike and uh, some more tin, tin generals on the way. Oh, they're archers. They're not actually the... Uh, I thought they were the knights, but never mind, they're not. <laughs> I need to flank these. I really do. I would like to break them. I think that'd be a massive... I'd love to, I don't know how many points that unit is, but I bet it's some points. Oh! Have that, my son. This cavalry is sitting in the rear, ready to pounce at me. Uh, and we shall we'll unload at the big unit and we will move forward and we'll fire them again and we we'll shall move and fire javelins how can they miss a man when there's like so many of them oh twiddle sticks I didn't mean to do that uh, the undo button and we should charge the mass musketeers, uh, causing massive damage there. we got to be considering this cavalry will be making a, an appearance in the next four turns. Um, let's move up here so we can hopefully start shooting at anything that starts to appear. Um, we'll just turn these around because they're not really going to do anything to uh, use this battle anyway. So I think we've got a very good line here. The block pikemen are definitely wrecking their day. Come on, they've got to go. They've got to go. Looking for a break. And a break. And there they go. And they're off. 43%. <laughs> oh, my word. Like I told you guys, some of these units, you just have so many points in them. I break that one unit there with one. 43%. Was that 40, like 39% of their points? Get off the field. Lady Luck is on the word tonight. Wow, that was just completely... <sighs> Don't get flanked. That's the point. Don't get flanked. You get flanked, you're going to die. Which way are they looking now? Mm, not in a particular way, which is an advantage stage to me. 53%. Spain, viva la... Sp I can't. Viva la España? Oh, <laughs> GG guys, GG, there we go, two close defeats tonight and one victory, Lady Luck gave me that victory from that one big unit of uh, cavalry, but that is just the way the cookie crumbles in this game, so like I said guys, thank you for watching this stream tonight, uh, and thank you everyone for commenting and so that, so yeah, don't forget to uh, check the Fanatical site out for uh, this game because it's, like I said, an offer. But, like I said, cheers for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked any more of my content or the way I play, uh, please don't hesitate to check and have a look at my channel. Um, I'll put the link in there. Um, in there. So, GG, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you again, Pixel. Uh, and there we go. So... See you later, Bone Bleeder, and everybody who's watched tonight. Don't forget to take a look at my channel, and I hopefully shall see you next week with something new. There'll be something special next week, hopefully, uh, that we're actually planning. Um, so, yeah, brilliant.
All right, guys. GG. Thanks, Pixel. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye, folks. If I can remember how to turn the stream off.